school boy. What's up? Are you gonna do the how-to video? Come on, these people are on the edge of their seat. I guess I can. Yeah! I can't let the con down. All right, what's this episode? It's gonna be a quick little trick you guys take it for what it's worth. We're heading out to Montauk at the end of the month. If you guys are out there, come say hello to us, all right? Catch us on Instagram. Have a sass brother with the kid and the crew. This episode is gonna be just a quick little tip. It's gonna be understand your enemy. Is, your, is Stripe Bass really your enemy? No. No, all right, it's your, I don't know. Understand your target. Stripe Bass, all right? Quick little thing about Stripe Bass. Okay, before we get into that, let's just start with the rig. Let's go down to the shop. All right, first we're gonna start off with the hook. Gamagatsu 7 odd or 6 odd are ideal for striped bass live lining eels, all right? We're gonna need super glue, all right? Any super glue, you go to the dollar store and get that, a pair of scissors. And for those of you guys who tie flies and stuff like that, this is one of those little fugazi fly tying uh, rigs. And here, you can go on Amazon and get the little glass beads, all right? That's them right there, and those ones with the pointy end, we'll get to that in a second. All right, we're gonna grab our hook. Uh, this is a seven odd hook right now and super glue on the Maja Manel right there a little dab will do you and we're just going to put that to the outside shank of that hook have our bead right there touch the two together the science of bonding is uh, happening right now and that's it all right you're going to pick it up it's going to be locked on there put in position so you can now wrap it with you know I use black thread and this is the stuff that you tie flies bucktails with all right no different than that all right so what we're going to do is we're going to wrap that uh, glass bead just like this and then what we'll do now is we're going to dab it and saturate it with super glue all right super glue now makes it almost like a very hot acrylic which now will even enhance the sound of the beads okay all right just a quick tip if you buy the beads with the point here with the glass point do not wrap that glass point because when you put pressure on that with these thread it'll snap off and break all right so don't do it just leave it just like you see it all right here's how it sounds with the rattling bead i'll be wise guys all right now i'm just gonna do the old school easy snell we use out there is 50 pound fluorocarbon and we're just gonna snell it like uh just check out my video i'll leave it in the end of this video and i'll also leave it in the description below how to snell hook real simple snell again the more pressure you put in the snell the tighter it gets so it's a pretty cool technique so definitely if you have a second check out that video i'll have it in the description below all right guys well as you finish product right there there's the hook obviously no obstruction within the hook it's just outside the hook so it's not going to have any performance on the fish all right my man captain chris from keeping it real he uses shrink wrapping to hold the uh, glass bead in place uh he saw me use this in the video in the past and he thought that's a better mousetrap it might just be but uh i'm concerned about the rubber absorbing that sound all right let's go back to the instructional part striped bass all right quick little thing about striped bass the sense of sound is huge, all right? Everybody knows, Not probably not everybody knows, all right? Striped bass have inner ears, not like this guy's outer ears like a human being. That's all it right. has inner ears. The lateral line on a striped bass also takes vibration and sound, and it can kind of like, let's just say you're in a room, somebody is over there and it claps, you automatically look up to that direction, all right? Somebody's talking to you, you don't go, where's that voice coming from? You have spatial recognition as human being, and you know that person's right over there, all right? Striped bass, the same thing, all right? Spatial recognition, inner ears and also lateral lines have that fish to target wherever that sound's coming from, all right? If you're coming over from over there, striped bass now, with his abilities or her abilities, what we're after, is going to be able to recognize where that uh, sound is, and we're going to key in on that sound, all right? Sound travels four times faster in water than in air, all right? It's important because you need to know certain facts about sound, all right? Water now, it doesn't travel as far in water because of the water's density. It doesn't let the sound wave go as far, but it travels much faster for a shorter distance, all right? When we're fishing in Montauk, let's just say, these fish, these targets, these little areas we're gonna be fishing, and the elbow is one of them. It's not exactly a huge place. You have a certain piece of that structure that's going to hold fish, and you want to get that fish in there, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to take that drift, you're going to whack. Let me just take this fishing rod right here. You're going to have that hook with the uh, rattle in it, and as you're going through that hot spot, you know, I'll say, hey, we're on it, we're on it. You just give a couple of taps. What's going to do that? Oh crap! You used the wrong sound effect. That will resonate through the line and have that hook start to rattle, all right? Again, spatial recognition, that freaking thing knows what that is. Boom, comes up and says hello to it. Really is not that far because remember, if you watch all the other Mo uh, Montauk videos, these fish are strike zone six feet high, bro. You're not gonna go any higher than that. So this is a very, probably right there, you know, that bait's coming through. 
these striped bass now, their eyes are forward and they're, they're slightly angled upward, all right? As they hang out, their eyes are like that, all right? So as you're ripping that thing by, you're whacking, you're doing a couple of taps on that, little uh, sound waves, again, it travels faster, so that sound wave is getting to that striped bass before you bait this striped bass now, says, what the hell is that? As it's coming by, it makes a move or it doesn't make a move. Striped bass will freaking strike instinctively. It's not like uh, they're, they're, they're gonna do it. They're gonna see an opportunity, they say, I'm gonna go for that, or I'm not gonna go for that, all right? They're not that very aggressive feeders, all right? They're especially bigger fish. So tap a couple of times, try it. We've done it out in Montauk. We've had some real cool success with it. You guys take for what it's worth. Uh, I wanna thank you again for watching Kid Coach Chiefs Outdoors. This is just a quick tip and trick from the kid, all right? Thanks for watching. You guys uh, can, if you please, comment below. On that note though, you're probably wondering why that damn Maja thing was in that thing. First of all, because I put glue on it and I don't want glue to get anywhere else. But it was a subliminal message because Tony Maja Jr. is going to be giving away a combo for this fall. It's not this fall, he's gonna give it away by the end of, let me see, today is, I don't know what day today is. Here's the date right here. And he will make the drawing on this date. I can't remember, I don't know what date today is. All right, so he's gonna make the drawing on that date. Follow him on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, make a comment below, and you guys will have a good opportunity. It's a real good opportunity to win a uh, spoon mojo combo. It's gonna be killer for the full run. So uh, make a comment below. Maja will look at it. If he likes it, you're the winner. He'll ship it out to you cats, all right? That's where that Maja little uh, Manel was in that video, all right? Again, thanks for watching Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors. I'm Captain Mark, and you know where I gotta go. Hey folks, thanks for watching Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors. Don't forget, Old Pro Charters has the con hats. Set the hook, the shirts. Look in the description below, grab those things, and always remember your lines. Oh boy, you gonna do that how-to video for the boys? I didn't say for the boys. What'd you say?